Well, joining us now on Encounter is Suzanne Ha, Executive Director of Goodness Reigns. Thank you so much for being with us, Suzanne. Thank you for having me, Kevin. Uh, before we get into the Share the Story contest, maybe you could tell us a little bit about, for those who might not know, uh, about Goodness Reigns. Okay, thank you. Well, it's an apostolate that was started almost 10 years ago. It's an outreach to uh, primarily youth and young adults, but also to, um, to really anyone who has a camera or a cell phone to use media to share the message of the gospel. And this 2019 Share the Story contest, this is something that you have done before, but maybe you could tell us a little bit about that and about the 2019 contest. Sure. Well, um, the, this will be our fourth Share the Story contest. Um, we have um, centered them usually around World Youth Day because we've had the opportunity to take the films that have come to us and share them uh, with the world through World Youth Day. Uh, we ask that uh, people interested in participating create a short film, uh, faith-based. It can be anywhere from um, on the sacraments, uh, Bible stories, it can be uh, church teachings, anything that they're passionate about, they can share through film, and they can submit the films to us through our website. And this is a great partnership between yourself, Goodness Reigns, and our Sunday visitor as well. Who, who's the contest open to? Is for all eight, uh, ages mm -hmm. under 18? or? Yes, and that um, we have uh, some categories that we're uh, considering this year. Uh, we have um, for people who are 18 and younger can uh, submit a film, and that will be one category. We have a category for anyone who's over 18, and we also have a category uh, that we're offering along with Heartbeat Records, and this is for an um, original musical composition oh, that goes along with the video because we know that there are a lot of talented artists out there, and we'd like to allow them to share their gift of song with us. And then um, the fourth category is one um, is really looking for people who are present-day missionaries. So if you want to profile someone who is a present-day missionary, or if you're part of an organization that's out there serving the world and bringing goodness into it, then we want to uh, see a film about that as well. That's great. Uh, you mentioned that, that some of them might be screened at World Youth Day Panama. Maybe if you could expand on that too, what are the, some of the other mm -hmm. prizes uh, for, for um, okay. some of the contestants? Okay, so the top um, prizes for each of the four categories that I mentioned is $1,000. Okay. And so we find um, in the past that there are a lot of uh, filmmakers out there and maybe there's some equipment needs that they have that they, they may not have the money for. So right. the cash gives them an opportunity to add to their uh, repertoire or their, um, their equipment. It's also, um, you know, somebody who may want to attend World Youth Day can use that, that fund. So it, it's really uh, dependent upon what the winner would like to do with it. That's great. It seems like a natural fit too for young people who have access to be able to make videos fairly easily and a way they can share their faith with others. Yes, yeah. And the one thing that really excites me about this is that it's a platform for emerging Catholic talent and, and um, not, not necessarily just a platform, but I, I would say some things that I've heard from people who've participated is they have a passion for their faith, but there really isn't a common place to share it or to show it um, if, they're, if they're not maybe attached to an organization that needs them to make a film or something. So it gives individuals an opportunity to express themselves through their film. Um, it, and it's also an opportunity to support um, talent. Maybe somebody has um, the gift of, of digital storytelling and um, they, this kind of pushes them to explore and uh, to push themselves to become better filmmakers. Yeah. Are you surprised by what, what you've seen, some of the content, some of the quality of some of these videos? Um, I, I'm amazed, and I, and I have to say that partly because I am not a filmmaker at heart. I work with people who are. <laughs> so um, to me, I, I just, uh, the beauty of seeing uh, a, a well-done film is, um, is very moving. But the other thing that I find with a short film is that it can say a lot. And sometimes, especially in these days, there could be a lot of divisive issues out there, sure. but a very well-crafted 
um, sensitive story can really go a long way in opening up um, people's minds in ways that they had never thought before. Yeah, it sounds like a great contest, great opportunity for some young filmmakers, as you say. Where can people get more information or a, a submission form as well? Mm -hmm. um, all submissions can come through our website. You can either, there are two places. You could go to the goodnessreigns.com website or more specifically the goodnessreigns-contest.com. Okay. There's uh, information on the contest there as well as uh, the, the place you can read about the rules and submissions. And um, I will add before I forget, sure. the deadline is July 1st, so there's uh, still plenty of time. Um, but you know, try to get, get going on the project. And we encourage uh, youth groups. It's a good way for them to bring together people as well as individuals. It's excellent. Thank you so much, Suzanne, for being with us today. We appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for having me. God bless you. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more of Encounter right after this.